Hello, family and friends, and welcome to the Emmanuel Pearlgate Daily Devotional for today. We pray that your spirit will be fed so you will be able to go through the day with Jesus on your mind and the power of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Feel free to visit us at www.epbcsf.com to learn more about us and to virtually worship with us through our virtual video library. Enjoy today's devotional. Week 41, The Weekend. Today's topic, When Were You Established? As you therefore have received Jesus Christ, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with all thanksgiving. Colossians 2, verses 6 and 7. I am often interested in when particular businesses were established. I recently looked up five companies. You likely recognize them. Chick-fil-A, established in 1946. Callaway Golf, established in 1982. Porsche, established in 1931. Shinola, established in 2011 and the New England Patriots, boo, established in 1960. These organizations are diverse in what they produce, but they have one thing in common. There was a moment in time that each came into being. I wonder if that is true for you as well. Have you been established, spiritually speaking? I was established in 1987 for it was back then that I received the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior <laughs> at that moment I was established in the faith in our passage the Apostle Paul exhorted us after having received Christ to follow our Lord in three ways first of all we are to walk in him as we walk in him our feet will not be led astray. Second, we are to be rooted and built up in him. It is a transformation that takes place as we read and follow his word. As we do this, our roots grow stronger and deeper. Last of all, as a result of our obedience, we will be established in the faith. The result would be in life abounding in thanksgiving to our wonderful Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that I may walk in you, be rooted in you, and forever be thankful to you for establishing me in the faith. It is in the mighty and master's name of my loving Savior, Jesus Christ, that I pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with us on today. We pray that you enjoy today's devotional and that it will be a blessing on your life. These devotionals are broadcast Monday through Saturday, so remember to tune in for our next devotional. For information, you can contact us at www.epbcsf.com. May God bless you and continue to keep you. Until next time, be blessed.